So I missed my chance to do this quest. Um, I was reading the uh, wiki here, and uh, basically, once you complete the Waters of Life quest, then a radio signal will appear, and you have to listen to that radio signal within a set amount of time, or else this quest will never begin. And I guess last time I played this game, and most other times I played this game, I listened to the radio signal before I go ahead and spend all my time doing DLC. So I obviously missed my chance here. So with this console command, um, I check the wiki and it's in the notes, then I can start the quest Trouble on the Home Front, which is a quest I really enjoy. So let's go ahead and start that. And it gives me the objective to return to Fault 101. Now, my saves were screwed up and basically I had to use the console command activate um, to activate this vault door to open um because i was trying different things to get this quest going i saw some video that said oh if you just walk up to this door and hit activate there you go you can do the quest so uh now you can see uh this door is not working so i'm gonna go ahead and uh tcl onto the inside of that um since this quest is messed stop right there i don't know how you got in here but Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Where the hell's Amada? So help me if you've heard her. I need to talk with Amada. I got her message. Amada's message? I don't know what you're talking about, but... I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. I mean, I just had a hunch she was in trouble. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. <sighs> What's happened down here since I left? Everything went crazy is what happened. Your dad opened that door. Bugs started attacking and people started going crazy. When the smoke cleared, there were a lot of casualties and not many answers. Not the first time he opened it. Didn't help that our doctor had just left either. Um, dad would be horrified to know all that if he were still alive. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. So, what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. I'll go see what I can do about all this. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a hard save there because I tried to reload my save and I realized it was before the Ferris wheel in Point Lookout. Um, so yeah, I would have been back like 45 minutes. It was my only other save. That's it, old man. We're opening that door. You know Stay out of here. Hey, Freddy. Nice jacket, buddy. I got the same one. It's treated me well. Hey, I know you. Hey. Hey, it's me. Okay, where am I going? I'm just opening doors, hoping I get somewhere. Um, apartments? Hey, who are you? Ladies restroom? Hey. Can't you just leave us alone? What? What happened down here? 
The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. Tell me about the rebels. Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. Okay, so it sounds like what they want to leave the rebels. I do believe that is the case. I've played this game before. I'll have you know. What are you doing in there, lady? Are you Butch's mom? You're back again? You sound pissed. I saved you before. They're a bunch of hellions. That's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. It's all kind of blurry for me. But I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. No, it wasn't. He opened the door 20 years ago and nothing happened then. Except me. He came back with me. Hello, the one who's about to save you all. Hello, the one who saved the wasteland. Hello, the one who went over to the pit and saved the pit and uh, did a bunch of cool stuff over there. Hello, the one that saved you from the aliens and destroyed the evil alien spaceship and all of the aliens on the spaceship that abducted me. Hello, and the guy went to Point Lookout and um, I don't know, did some stuff over there that was pretty cool. Peace, bro. Freaking lay off, man. Alright, which way am I going, dude? What else did I do that I can say hello about? Did I cover all the DLCs? Hello, the guy that wiped the guy that wiped out the enclave. Um Is that all of them? Hello. Hey, butch. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You got to help us. Help? What kind of help? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Don't worry, I'm trying to help the entire vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? Butch, what are you doing in the vault? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I prefer hairdressers for myself. Um, can you give me a haircut? I'm gonna barber the hell out of your hair. Thanks, Butch. This is a nice ending to the game. Let's bring down the red. Mm, bring that down, sort of gingery. A little darker red, there you go. What happened that night? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Why should I help you, Butch? Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. What do you think you're going to do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join. Oh my god, Butch. Hey, I'm already in the tunnel snakes, you give me the jacket and everything. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't going to just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's going to be a lot more people who want to join. Competition's going to be tough. Uh, let's go back to that. You have no idea how many gangs of idiot raiders are out there. Well, they ain't seen nothing like me. Yeah, is that so? Let's go for the third option. I bet you're a mole rat, Chow, before you make it out one day there. Yeah, well... Alright, I gotta go, Butch. Butcher Rooney. Hey! Oh my god, you're back! 
You got my message and actually came back. Um... I came as soon as I heard you were in trouble. Oh, thank you. Everything's gone crazy since you left. And now that you're back, you can help set things straight. You saved my life back then, Amada. The least I can do is help you out now. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. Um... What? How, how did you find that out? After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. Um... I hear some of you have been hoping to go outside. That's pretty crazy, too. Are you honestly comparing maybe we should look for help with stay in an underground bunker all your life or I'll kill you? That's not Obviously, what I was saying. I don't know what's out there, but it can't hurt to take a look, right? Fair enough, I made it this far. There are other survivors. Some are even doing better than the vault. That's why we need to be able to go outside. We can trade with them, get supplies and things we both need. Even works for those guys in Fallout 4 people. and whatever vault but that is. That can happen with while my father's got the place Kiri. Please, something has to be done. You know that better than anyone. Hmm. What happened that night? The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs, and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to! Why is the Overseer doing this? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well... There's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I think I got a solution for the vault's troubles. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. I swear I'll stop your father and his guards. Just watch. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just, please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? Don't hurt him, are you crazy? He tried to kill you. Well, yes, but he may have done some terrible things, but he's still my father, you know? Please, for my sake. Don't hurt him. I don't got one of those, and I'm getting by just fine. Ah, oh, you bastards. You locked off the door, you freaking freaks. Old Lady Palmer. Why is everyone looking at the goddamn floor? Cheer up. Oh dear. We aren't okay, yeah, the rebels... What happened? My poor grandson Jonas died. Ah, oh, Jonas is dead. I'm sorry to hear about that. Sorry, old lady P. Andy! Oh, another patient! What's it to be, eh? Andy, what happened? All this blood. Ah, yes. A rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. Wait, they made you the doctor? But of course, with your father 
Jonas' departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. Max. I am fully equipped, after all. You sound insane. So, uh, what's your take on this whole situation? Ah, human problems for human harm. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. If you're the new doctor, can you heal me? Um, actually, I've been Yeah, yeah I don't even know how to ask. Um, see ya, Andy. Oh my god, Beatrice. Beatrice. Um, Good to see you, Susie. Christine, Susie, peace. Wow, you're back. Indeed, I am. It's Ready? Hey, good to see you. Again. Can't believe they almost shot you. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly, but I'll be ready for it. Um. I never thought you'd be back. I never thought you'd be back. All right. The reactor, upper level. Where am I going? Where am I going? The, the atrium. Uh, well, there's an arrow pointing this way, and I haven't gone. And I haven't gone to yet. I don't think. The reactor. Is this where I'm going? This looks like it. Door to the upper level. Hmm, yes. The overseer's office. Hmm, yes, quiet. Hmm, hmm. Hey, dude. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Tainted? You're the crazy bastard who murdered Jonas. I assume you're talking about the unpleasantness when you left? Yes? Jonas and your father were endangering the future success of this vault and the safety of its residents. I did what I had to do to keep them from destroying all we had achieved here. I only wish I could have prevented it from happening at all. Don't try to justify your murders and lies. They were never threats. Spoken like someone who's never had to make difficult decisions. Like someone who's never had to lead. Jonas was leaving with your father. Their departure would lead to others leaving as well. And before you know it, half of the vault would be gone. And then, our home, the last safe, pure bastion of humanity, would be reduced to a lonely handful of aging holdouts, too few to continue. The vault doesn't have to be isolated in order to keep its residents safe. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. Why are they rebelling? I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. I believe I have the solution to the vault's problems. To fix what you started? Go ahead, and humor me. The rebels are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? You simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for 
A few more generations. My God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. That's right, asshole. The only mission your vault ever had was keeping its residents alive. <laughs> and you expect me to believe that the only way to do that is to let them travel out in the wastes and mingle with those savages? I suppose it would allow them to stay alive, and we could still keep the vault as our safe haven. But it'd require a new type of leader. And I know only one person with the proper attitude to do that. I'll inform my daughter Amata that she is the new overseer. Effective immediately. Yay! Dr. Amata. Did that homie just take off sprinting? Using bolt style? There he goes! Holy shit! Look at this guy move! He sprints as fast as I do. You don't belong here anymore. Don't you know enough to stay away? What? I gotta go, asshole. Chip Taylor. Rest in peace, Chippy. Don't shoot. We're coming. It's good to see you again. Yep, good to see you too, dickwad. Amata, everyone, listen closely. Look at this conversation, After so close, face to face. Friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. It's good to see you again. I... I just heard... My father says he's stepping down as overseer. Yeah, I was watching. You don't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. I just had a little talk and explained a few things. All quite civil. Nah, that's boring. You both care about the vault's residents, but in different ways. It's hard to forgive what he's done, but I suppose I can understand why he did it. I'm glad you brought him to his senses. But now there's a new overseer in charge, and I'm planning on opening the vault. This time for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I've got a bad feeling about this. What is it? There are still so many things to repair, and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. I understand, Amata. Goodbye. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. Why won't you just leave? Modified us utility jumpsuit added. I never thought you'd be back. 
All right, time to dip the vault. That was that quest, and that was my Let's Play. Hope you enjoyed it, if you uh, watched even a minute of it. Hopefully it was a... Uh, a minute that was worth it. Um, where am I going? I just need to get my ash out of here. I think this is the right way. Yeah. Maintenance. Yep. I just want to see if my town snake outfit is broken. Nope. It's still working. Plus one luck. Plus ten red resistance and five repair. That's a cool suit. Hmm, would have been cool to use that one too, but uh, Tunnel Snake's rule, so. Alright, I'll have to uh, do that again. <laughs> Since the door is messed because the quest was destroyed. There goes the sounds of the vault door closing. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at my, um, stats. General. Quest completed 38. Location discovered 99. One short of 100. That's funny. People killed 549. Creatures killed 796. Logs picked 109. Computers hacked 19. Stim packs 0. Radix taken 1. Radaway taken 9. Chems taken 76. Times addicted 13. Minds disarmed 83. Speech successes. 10, no, po no pockets picked, no pants exploded, 32 books read, 20 ball heads found, 18 weapons created, no people mezzed, um, no captives rescued, no sandmen kills, no paralyzing punches, no robots disabled, no contracts completed, no corpses eaten, 10 mysterious stranger visits. Um, if you really give a dang about my perks, and you can slowly pause through this and read the perks that I chose over across the levels and the ones that I was able to unlock... The skills, 100 across the middle, with the exception of 91 at unarmed and 61 in barter. 10 across the board for special. Finish this at level 38. 700 HP, 110 AP, and 109,947 experience out of 113,050 until the next level. My effects, bloody mess, superior defender, tunnel snake jacket, and well rested. Um, that's everything here. Do I have anything in my... Um, items that I can talk about, or notes. Nope. So the, uh, that's it. I no companions, and I only use this tunnel snake jacket with the exception of the couple seconds in Operation Anchorage where the winterized combat armor was forced upon me, and the short period in the pit where I'd use the slave rags. I could have constantly commanded it in for that one, but, um, I decided that because it's only like a short period where you're using the slave rags until you get your tunnel snake jacket back i was just gonna keep it um so whatever it's like the same damage resistance anyways no big deal there um and if i would have console commanded in it would have been a hundred percent condition and then i would have ended up with two but in the simulation for operation anchorage when i console commanded in it gets removed from my inventory and then i still only have the one which is the only one you can get unless you kill the people in the vault obviously um so yeah that um, and then, oh yeah, in Raven Rock, when, uh, my armor was broken, so it takes everything away from you, so I couldn't put it back on, so I had to wear nothing during that section. And then, uh, same thing for, at the end of Operation Anchorage, when I came out, my tunnel snake jacket was broken, couldn't put it back on, and I had to use nothing until I was able to repair it. So, for, like, three minutes, I used no armor there, and for, like, 20 minutes in Raven Rock, or 30 minutes, probably. Um... But yeah, that was the Let's Play. Um, 32 videos? 31? Something like that. And uh, maybe 33. 33, I think. That, I think this was number 33. Because I could have edited this one and the last one together. I was kind of thinking that. But this one's been 30 minutes already. So I wasn't sure how long this would all take. Unfortunately, I did have to cheat um, to get that last quest going there. But uh, I think it's really cool. Um, at the end of Fallout 1, it's pretty much the same ending. It plays a great song by the Ink Spots. Maybe, if you haven't heard it, it's on the radio in this game. You can also just obviously search it on YouTube. I recommend it. Cool song. Really great uh, 
really great tone set for Fallout 1, I think. And uh, basically, at the end of Fallout 1, you return to the vault, having saved the day, and they say, sorry, um, we can't have you being in our vault, because then kids will look up to you and want to be like you, and basically leave the vault in the same way that you kind of happen, that the same thing happens right now, where it's like, sorry, like, people still blame you, people still look at you weird, we can't have you in our vault. So, peace the frick out, you can't come back. So it's a nice little nod to Fallout 1, and I think it's a really cool way to wrap up um, the playthroughs, at least that I do. Um, when I streamed Fallout 3 last year, a friend recommended that I do it, so I've done it a couple times since. And, uh, yeah, uh, I was about to stop streaming, and he was like, no, no, do the Fallout 101 quest, do the Vault 101 quest. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll do it. And uh, thankfully, that was a great recommendation on his part. And, um, yeah, thanks to anyone who watched the series. Uh, Shoutouts to Wings, a.k.a. Jordy, because he's the one who freaking asked me to do this in the first place. He said, do a Fallout 3 run um, after he saw some of my Fallout 4 videos. So uh, that's why I did this, because he asked. So if you ever have any video requests or things you want me to do, let me know and I could try. I'm not necessarily going to make 33 videos like I just did for this, um, but I'll do what I can. And I kind of felt like playing the game anyways again, so it was a nice... Um, it was a nice fit and a nice time, even though he'd asked me like three times over the course of the past four months or something like that. Anyways, enough with me babbling on. I don't have anything else to say other than, um, if you enjoyed it, then you could subscribe if you're into that sort of stuff. Um, likes and comments are always appreciated on these. I try to reply to every comment. Sometimes the YouTube notifications are crappy, but whatever. And, um, yep. Till next time. Bye for now.